I, I was fortunate enough to go to Tokyo uh, and we were housed in pavilions and my husband came with us to Tokyo. He didn't come to Rome uh, and, and the Japanese just would not believe that we were married. I mean disabled people didn't get married in their, in their idea. Uh, so uh, coming, the paraplegic games, coming to Tokyo taught taught the Japanese a lot and he was allowed to stay in the pavilion and he and I shared a room and he actually became extremely useful because um, the other girls uh, <clears throat> in the pavilion always liked a cup of tea in the morning and he used to go and bring them a cup of tea before they got up. Uh, I'm not a tea drinker so I I wasn't one of them, but he used to look after the others, and he was extremely good. Um, uh, you know, to him, spinal cord people were just people. Uh, but not to everybody, and not particularly to the Japanese. So we really felt that we had um, been useful there, teaching them. Uh, and now they come over, you know, with a big team. Well, there was one significant moment when in Tokyo, um, I was playing double table tennis uh, with one of well, my partner called Gwen Buck and um, I stretched for a ball and my chair tipped over sideways and I landed on the floor and uh, I think we were playing Italians at the time and it was actually the Italians who picked me up and put me back in my chair. We continued uh, the game and we won gold and I thought that was a really sporting move. If they'd left me sitting there, <laughs> the others would have won.